Hey, praise the Lord, and greetings to you once again in Jesus' name. This is Brother Clinton, and I have another little seed of truth for you from the Scripture. What you're looking at in front of you are two questions that are very popularly asked in the denominations today. And the reason that they are asked is because the people that are asking these questions have not searched the Scriptures. And what they know, or what rather what they believe they know, is not from the Scripture, but rather it is from a man in a costume who has been trained by a seminary to deceive them by misquoting and misrepresenting the Scripture. And therefore they are confused and they ask these questions. The first question is, should I be baptized in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, or in the name of Jesus? And the second question is, should I obey Jesus or Peter? Why do people ask these questions? Well, they say, should I be baptized in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, or in the name of Jesus? As if there were two different ways to be baptized in the Scripture. Well, the Scripture doesn't say anything about being baptized in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's not in the Bible anywhere. Okay, And in the name of Jesus is in the Bible. That being baptized in the name of Jesus is in the Bible. And we'll see that in a moment. And then they say, should I obey Jesus or Peter? Why do they ask this? The reason they ask this is because the men in the costumes who have been entertaining them with deception have taught them or suggested to them that Jesus and Peter preached two different things concerning baptism in the New Testament. And, of course, nothing could be further from the truth, and we'll see that in a moment. So let's go to the scripture. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20 reads thusly, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Okay, Jesus said this. When he said this, he was making very clear that he was the almighty God. Okay, Nobody else except the almighty God could say, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, and not be lying. Whoever has all power in heaven and in earth is the almighty God. Period. Okay, Now Jesus says, Go ye therefore. Why did he say therefore? Well, it was because of what he just said. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Notice that Jesus did not tell anybody at any time, teach all nations and baptize them in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He did not say that. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You see, why are people leaving out this word name? It's because they don't know the scripture, and it's because what they believe is based on what they have been uh, taught by men in costumes instead of reading the scripture. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Well, what in the world is the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost? Well, the men that Jesus was speaking to at this time understood what the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost is because he stood right in front of them and he said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So how did these apostles, these eleven men, okay, Judas was gone at that time, how did these eleven men understand Jesus' words? Well, let's look in the scripture. A few days later, when the New Testament began, we can read about it in the second chapter of the book of Acts. It says, now when they heard this, okay, and this, this of course is the result of Peter having preached to them for several uh, several minutes. We can read about that in the earlier portions of the chapter. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, okay, the same eleven men that were standing in front of Jesus when Jesus spoke these words. They said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Peter said this to, the, to all these people in front of the other eleven apostles, and none of the other eleven apostles said, oh, wait a second, Peter, uh, the Master told us to baptize in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Why didn't they say that? Because that would have been a lie. Because the Master did not say baptize in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. 
He said, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And what is the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost? Well, Peter and the other apostles proclaimed that the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. Period. It's just that simple. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. How do we save ourselves from this untoward generation? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The only name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved is the name of Jesus Christ. May this message be a blessing to you if you have ears to hear. In Jesus' name, amen.